What's going on everybody? Jay Hayes here. So today I'm going to be doing a review on not really a device, kind of a added accessory. Now I'm not quite sure as to when this device came out as to why it didn't come with these posts. What we're going to be doing on, this isn't really going to be a long review, it's just kind of me introducing this as this is something new to add on to a current device that you already have. Anybody that owns the Goon LP. For those of you who don't know, LP means low profile. Goon had launched their 24 millimeter and everybody knew it when it came out. I still think to this day, a lot of people know that, that are just getting into vaping. Clamp post scenario, you put the legs in, clamp it down. If you haven't seen my review on any of the Goons, I'll go ahead and I'll post a link right there. The problem with the original way is you put your legs in and then you kind of bring the tails down and force the coils to be in I guess in an L type situation, wasn't really good. I know there are some people out there that swear by this and absolutely adore it. I am not one of those people. So someone on Wix and Calls posted a picture of this, not saying that they were for sale, but I was automatically super pumped up because I'm okay, I got five goon LPs. If I can convert them into smaller goons, then absolutely I'm gonna love these things. I feel like the accessories are going to go fast just because there's a lot of people that have a goon LP that I think is just sitting on the shelf and they're not using it because of the way that you put your coils in. So without further ado, let's flip it. A lot of people complain about this, including myself, because when you put the coils in, they're gonna be up like this, but because it's such a low profile RDA, you can't really have your coils that tall because A, it's gonna short out and it's gonna get on your drip tip, melt your drip tip, melt your chuff cap, just be absolutely messy. What you're forced to do is kind of take the coils and bring them down like this. Now, that's not necessarily a bad thing if you don't mind doing that, but that definitely inhibits a lot of what you could possibly do with this deck being that it is a short throw deck and it's gonna be designed for flavor. That is all you get inside of the bag. So what we're going to do is change out the posts that are in the silver one and then change it out in the black one. We're gonna unscrew the 510. Now once you remove the 510, you're going to also remove the grounding screw. There you go. A little funky monkey in there. With the conversion, I feel this is gonna be that much better of a dripper. Basically, it's going to be the miniature goon that it was supposed and designed to be when it came out. The way this is gonna work is real simple. You have two posts. Let's put this on in just like that. You can see right there where the pin is going to go. And then you have the other one that goes just like that. All right, so first we're gonna screw in a grounding block. Real simple. And then we're going to convert this into a squonk while changing out the post configuration. It's super cute, yeah? Da -da 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 -da. On the clamps itself, there's no spring-loaded situation going on, so you do have to adjust these, kind of hang it upside down as you put your coils in. Also, there's no beveled situation. So even if they are down and you try to stick your wire in, it's not like it's gonna really do much of anything. You're gonna have to flip it to get it to go right. So the dual coil is picked up at a .30. Now keep in mind, because this deck is smaller than the Goon, you're not really gonna have a lot of leeway for what you're gonna be able to fit in this. What I have in here is kind of big. I guess the way to look at it, you'll have maybe one or two more millimeters on each side just because you don't have to worry about the actual side clamps getting in the way, if that makes sense. So when you're looking at it like this, you see this extra little protrusion. As you do that, you kind of have to hook the coils around, making the legs a little bit longer, thus providing higher resistance, but it just kind of limits you. It's a really thick post. At least with this, it's not so thick, allowing you to put that much of a bigger build in there. I got a pair of panties on. My panties have always been better than yours. Sip a time, a super tie, brother man. Tim a tie, daddy o. Now, before you comment and say that this is gross, you're gross, okay? Before you comment and say this is fluffy, guess what? 
You're fluffy. I feel like that should be a real song. Almost like that would be a classic new age hit. Whatever the hell that means. There you go. So uh, let's squonk this. I'd hate to waste the juice that's in here, but um, there you go. Look at that. Gonna be a really, really good squonker. I know I'm a little outdated for that. The good thing is when you have a dual coil scenario and you, you're rocking it as a squonk, what happens is in order for it to leak, it kind of has to work its way past those coils in order to go outside of the, of the airflow. You can see there that they are fully encased. Now that is a little bit of a lower build. It is. Specifically for um, a squonk and a single battery, but it's a 2700. That's it. Let's put the top cap on. There it is. Woo! Hot potatoes! Hot fast! Pick it up! Back on a top of the Goon LP with the flat post conversion. Now, I don't want to make this about just doing a review for the Goon LP, but I will give you a little bit of an update. So here's the situation. You saw the bill that I put in it. 0 0.30 at 54 watts. Again, I don't want it to be about that. But the drip tip that I have in here is the only drip tip that I can use. For whatever reason, the top part of this gets extremely hot and it retains a lot of heat. I know that's gonna be dictated by the build and how much airflow you're using. Oh, having this Goon LP all the way open is entirely too much airflow. So it's not even enjoyable at that point. But if you cut it down, you're not giving enough of airflow to circulate through it and cool it down. So it's kind of like a double standard. But um, I, I don't know why I'm doing this. Uh, but I'm just going to show you some of the vapor production that I'm working with. So before you ask where I got this drip tip at, because you're probably going to look at this drip tip and be like, Ew. 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 Or you may look at it and be like, Ooh. 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 Who makes that? I don't I don't know why you would sound like that, but this drip tip actually came with the lawless dripper that I did a review on. Post the link right there. If you are interested in getting this, then get <coughs> You know what just happened is I was talking and a fucking piece of hair flew into my nostril and down my throat. It's the first time I can ever tell you I've sniffed hair before. What's the deal with people sniffing condoms? What's that about? Why would you sniff a condom? As far as the adapters for this are concerned, I don't know if it's worth going out and going to buy a Goon LP just to use these posts. Because if you already have an original Goon, there's not going to be that much differences between that and this, aside from the diameter of the actual Goon itself. And, of course, the build deck and the height. It's not that big of an upgrade if you don't own the Goon LP. However, if you do own one and you really hate the whole build deck, this gives you that extra option and they're not really expensive. I bought three of them just because I figured out I was going to convert all the Goon LPs that I had. And I went out and I bought another Goon LP so this way I could get a squonk for it. And then I went out and I bought another Goon LP so I can convert those posts, have an extra one on the side. And then I got a squonk pin with it. So it's kind of a double win. Got a couple things out of it that I'm probably never going to use. So all in all, listen, I can't give it a rating because all we're doing is just adding an accessory to the bunch. But again, if you own the Goon LP, you're probably really going to want to invest in this because it does give you a little bit more versatility than having to put your coils on the top and then bend them down to give you proper airflow. And I've kept it real. Have you? Jay, hands up.